So, also äh, Bilddurchlauf bitte mal starten. So, was ist denn jetzt? Jetzt mal Ruhe an Zeit. Können wir jetzt mal anfangen hier? Daniel, äh, starten bitte, ja? Uh, okay. Hello, this is take 4, scene 5. Hi there. My name is Holger Schmidt Paprik from GPS over IP. I want to introduce you the new racing app. I hope you enjoy it. Yes. So you could find the GPS over IP racing app in the App Store. Please search for GPS over IP. Once starting the app, you can choose between three different buttons and different views. Let's start with the button Audience View. In the Audience View you can select between uh, different uh, racing areas, for example the Nürburgring or the Autodrome Dubai. Let's have a look at the Nürburgring racetrack called Nordschleife for example. In the Audience View you can see and follow the racing cars live. Here you can see speed and you can also switch to different card views. For every racing track exists a single event calendar. On the left side you see the button Fahrzeuge. Here you can see a list of cars with different functions. Here you can see more information about the team and the car. In the audience view you can also switch to the action mode, but with limited access only to tachometer. Ok, let's get back to the main menu. For the team view you need a GPS over IP team account. In the team login you got two functions. In the administration team view racing teams can switch into the administration view. Racing teams got more rights than the audience. Before you can see a car on the race course the teams have to enable the view for it. Okay, let's try to enable a car. Select the car. Select the race course. Select the space of time. Click the button Go. So, you got it. After pushing the Administration Team View button, you can select a racing course on which you have activated a car before. After picking the racing course, you see the cars live and in action. Team view is equal to the audience view, but racing teams got more rights and infos. In the action mode, let's switch to the timeline. Here you see the driving time. When you have selected a period of driving time, you can switch to a card where you can follow the track. In the track replay you see the time and the speed. Back in action mode, interest functions for teams. For example, the CAN bus window.
Racing teams can see their card details. Temperature, tank contents, brake, accelerator and a lot of more interesting data. But only for his own car. The dashboard is the cockpit from the racing car. Here you see different instruments and when the car is moving data will be updated every second. Okay, let's get back to the main menu. For the race management, you also need a GPS over IP account. Here you see two functions. First, let's switch to the administration race management view. Wow! The administration race management view gets special functions. The race management can see the position of the course controllers. They can activate the controllers for checking the speed. The action mode is limited. The zone observer. When a car is driving too fast, it will be observed. Here you see two activated zones. Let's see if there is anybody going too fast inside the zone. Hey, this is not okay. There are two drivers too fast inside the zone. Let's see some details. This is the period when there is something wrong. Here is the card again. Oh, this is the point where he was too fast. Okay, that's it. Um, hey. Director, director, move back to the studio, please. Hey, halt, Achtung. Okay, los geht's. Hey, scene seven, uh, take four. Okay, that's it for me. Now I give the iPad to my technical assistant, Daniel Weiler. Your technical support. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. I will show you a very great function for the iPad. Uh, you can send the picture to external monitor. You only need the HDMA adapter. We'll put it on. And when you start the app, you will see in a few seconds the display uh, on the external monitor. When you start the app, you can set the, the card on on the external monitor when uh, TV out is online. When you set uh, TV out offline, you will see the card on the iPad. And I think that's a very great function. Thank you.